Hey guys, Nathan Williams down here at Wilshire Gun. Thanks for coming and checking out this video. So really happy, really excited to talk to you about an all new product from Six Hour, but we're not gonna do it out here inside Wilshire Gun. We're gonna go right inside there to Oklahoma Machine Guns. Hey everybody, down here inside Wilshire Gun and one of the really, one of the, one of the coolest shots you'll, you'll find anywhere around, Oklahoma Machine Guns. Here with Tyler. Tyler, so you've got something really cool for us, brand new from SIG this year. Why don't you go ahead and talk to us all about it? Sure, uh, many people probably heard about it, it's kind of coming out now, finally hitting the market at the beginning of the summer and uh, really getting out there in greater numbers now, but it's the MPX. Um, it, you know, it's essentially SIG looked back and said, you know what, uh, they completely redesigned the concept, the idea of the sub gun. Uh, you know, the traditional role of things like the MP5 uh, back in the, in the late part of the 20th century, uh, they kind of took everything about the MP5, combined it with the simplicity, ease of use of an AR-15 M4 carbine and, uh, and came out with this, so it's a pretty interesting option. What we mean by subgun is, uh, is something that's in a pistol caliber and in rifle form, right? And it's designed to be used in close, tight quarters and spaces. You know, in World War II, clearing a bunker complex or, you know, used as a, you know, up close in, in, in the hedgerows in Europe, in the swamps in the, in the Pacific, you'd have that. The Germans had the MP44, which is a nine millimeter Luger. Uh, you know, you had these different things, um, but they were really kind of simple. They were cheap and easy to make, and they weren't incredibly reliable. Well, that really changed in the 1960s, 1970s. Heckler and Koch uh, out of Germany uh, came out with this bad boy, essentially, which began to dominate um, when it came to, you know, offensive defensive firearms when it came to the subgun market. Uh, this is the MP5, this is an MP5A2. Um, it has a fixed stock, although they have different variants and stuff in it. It fires a nine millimeter Luger. Um, and this bad boy, I mean, you saw this thing on every Everything movie you think. Movies, movies, all that stuff. Exactly, but what really, it really won its place in the heart of, you know, if you saw a SWAT team in, in the United States or just anywhere where you saw uh, guys from the Navy SEALs and all this different stuff out there, and, you know, not trying to like name drop or anything, but the yeah. reality is these were used in very plentiful numbers. They are incredibly accurate up close. They fire a hard hitting nine millimeter round uh, and they were incredibly effective. Um, and because of that, they were really used uh, in great numbers. However, the reality is after time, uh, many of the designs of the MP5 and other, other subguns at the time, the way they, the materials, the way they were used, they would wear, they would flex, you'd have some issues with them, and they would be very hard to maintain. Uh, parts availability, all this stuff became an issue. And so a lot of police departments, a lot of just, it became cost ineffective to maintain them and use them. Um, at the same time, terminal ballistics had changed a little bit. Uh, they found that the nine millimeter round in, it, in its original form, mostly in full metal jacket, tended to over penetrate in structures. Like inside of a house, it would go through many different layers of drywall. And, uh, and they found that, you know what, the US 556 round, you know, the 223 Remington, uh, would actually perform a little bit better. Plus, the AR platform in itself would tend to be uh, a little bit easier to maintain, a lot cheaper to yeah, maintain. Yeah, because everybody makes parts. Yeah, exactly. And so what you see is that, you know, this one right here, this is a, you know, a kind of a clone of a Mark 18, which is one of the military issued guns now, with a 10 and a half inch SBR with a silencer on it. You'd go and take a look at something like this and it would seem more practical yeah. in that you could reach out to extended distances, um, but you would still have the ability to kind of use it in close quarters. Yep, yeah, exactly. Um, so, I mean, that's one of the things that most people have kind of gone to. However, this is still incredibly heavy, mm -hmm. and even with the silencer, you're looking at essentially the full length, with the clap stock, the full length, this is the same as a regular standard 16 yeah. inch AR. So out of a car, or out of a tight confined space is where you need a real quick defensive weapon. So you have some clearing issues that you're trying to Yeah, exactly. So it's always see. kind of one of those issues. Combine that with modern pistol design, pistol cartridge design, the nine millimeter round has become truly effective again in many ways. Uh, the FBI has gone back to it as a standard caliber for its handguns. And with that, law enforcement is proliferating that way also. Um, and they're going back to the idea of the subgun as a solution 
for law enforcement and defensive use in tight quarters. So in your house, uh, out of a vehicle, um, all of these things that are real scenarios that we all face, whether we want to think about that or not, it's true, um, where you just need more capacity than a standard handgun and you need more accuracy in a more stable platform than a handgun, um, it, it fills that role really nicely. SIG saw that need and went out and said, all right, we're going to go and completely redesign this thing, rethink this thing, and come out with something truly unique and new to the market. And here we are today, brand new MPX. The MPX. So at its core, it is a 9mm subgun. It's working off of a gas piston system in there, which is incredibly reliable. Uh, like an AR, though, unlike a roller block uh, lock system, roller blocks like, uh, like the MP5 and, uh, and some other different blowback design guns, uh, this thing is incredibly reliable. It fires from a closed uh, rotating lock bolt system, just like an AR-15. Very safe, incredibly, uh, you know, just efficient, and it works very, very well. Easy to replace, easy to maintain. So, you, need, you know, essentially at its core, it looks like a very slim down AR type gun. It has the same controls on either side, ambidextrous rotating um, safety right here. It has ambidextrous mag releases on either side, or excuse me, bolt releases, and ambidextrous magazine releases on each side of the gun, which most people think out that's one of the first things you do with your AR is you pay for the aftermarket parts to convert to ambidextrous, particularly for lefties. This, there are no issues. So that's kind of unique. Yeah, that's it's really really awesome now. SIG has really thought of combining old school sub gun technology with an AR platform to get the to get this all new SIG, SIG in. Absolutely. So SIG is going to come out with very different models of this. Uh, so to talk into great detail to it, um, you know, it comes in its very basic form as a pistol. Okay. So it will be a simple 4473 and a background check when you find the pistol version. And you can buy that at any. At at any gun shop. At any pretty much gun shop that they're going to go and carry those in there. Um, but on this one, as you can see at home, looking at, we put an aftermarket stock kit on here. This is an LWRC shorty uh, PDW stock with a Veriforce tactical adapter. It's a small company out of uh, Arizona. Uh, but normally this, imagine this isn't here. It would come with just the pistol version and an 8-inch barrel right there. We modified this one by going and taking and shortening the barrel to four and a half inches. Wow. And we went and took and attached a tri lug adapter to an AAC Tyrant can on there and went and reduced that down. So that we're getting the compactness that we want while still getting good terminal ballistics out of the round. And uh, this thing with its combined overall length with the suppressor on it is still almost an inch shorter than the MP5A2 right here without a suppressor. You can get all the modern technology in a shorter package with better ballistics, better accuracy, and you know, just a much more stable platform. Yep, and when you go and you look at it from a size comparison standpoint, wow. you're looking at stock, you're saving significant amount of length, which is really in a tight space, car, other, I mean, you're talking, that's the distance between, wow. if, you've ever, if, you've, if you've ever gone and taken, had to shoot a rifle or anything out of a vehicle or up close, you know that that one right there is those precious seconds where you're banging this on a, on a steering wheel or on a dashboard, versus you know going and taking and having something that's going to come free and be able to go and engage a threat quickly. So well, yeah definitely definitely huge advantages with the with the MPX. Enough talking, let's go take this bad boy in the range and let's send some lead down. Outstanding. Let's do it. Again, we're out here on the with the MPX out on the range uh, inside our 25-yard private lanes out here at Wilshire Gun. Um, we're gonna, just going to go ahead and do some, uh, some some basic, take a look at the gun shooting and show you guys at home what's uh, what's kind of going on with it. So uh, take, again, Lowe's Magwell just like an AR. Uh, normally, you know, operate off the ping pong paddle to go and take and allow the bolt carrier group to slide home. Here, of course, it's ambidextrous, so you can go and you can take and just hit the. Right side switch too for you lefties, it's beautiful. You have uh, both options. We're gonna go ahead and shoot. We uh, went and zeroed this thing in uh, with the red dot, so we're gonna go in and just take a couple hits here at the target. It's about uh, 12 yards, room distance inside. So here we go. All 
All right, so now it's my turn to play. Wow, this sucks. Great gun, highly recommend it. Wow, wow. So we just got into shooting the all new SIG MPX and all I've got to say is wow. I mean, just the technology, the, same, the reliability. I mean, don't get me wrong, the old school sub guns, hilariously fun. Love to shoot them, but the, the MPX is just, you know, can't, can't find words on how just user friendly and just awesome this thing is. It, 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 it is a really, really neat design. Um, it's probably, it may, I'll be honest, it's probably not for everybody in there. I mean, if most people, you know, you have an AR, you have a handgun, shotgun, you know, the sub gun, maybe it's not for everybody, but for those that really want that concept, it's a great option. Uh, you can still find decent sub guns out there. You can find HK clones, uh, you know, with original HK parts kits made by quality gunsmiths in the country, but most of them are charging $2,500 to $3,000 for one of these things. Yeah. Um, you know, you, it, it, that, that's, what, that's what your choices really come down to if you want something real quality. Um, in my opinion, for the price point of what you're looking at for a SIG MPX, uh, and the options you have, the modularity of it, it it's an incredibly impressive, plat an impressive okay. platform. Definitely, yeah. I mean, I just, the fact that you can, you know, pistol, collapsible stock, I mean, all sorts of front end stuff with the Victoria rail attachments that you can put on it. Just very easily customized. You can set it the way you like it. Absolutely huge fan. And tell us one more time uh, when Six come out to bring their MCXs and the MPXs and the, their entire uh, suppressor line. Uh, they're going to be out the 26th and 27th of September awesome. out here at Wilshire Gun and Oklahoma Machine Guns. Awesome. So if you guys are interested, check out the all new MPX and the MCX and then any of the suppressor line. You can come on down here to Oklahoma Machine Guns located inside Wilshire Gun. And Tyler and everybody here will be more than happy to show you all the stuff, all the great items that they've got here. And while you're here, Wilshire Gun, why don't you, you know, go to the cafe, come eat, and go to the range and shoot, and we'll show you what high caliber entertainment is all about. <laughs>